Okay, so today we're going to do a quick coding session and we're going to clean some code with Clippy. So we're going to take our awesome app template app base and you can find it over there is a Rust awesome app org and then is in the repository, this one. And that is a video that I just did a couple of days ago to build awesome desktop app with story and serial DB. Anyway, if we go back to the code, it looks like we are relatively clean. We go to the main, everything looks good. And if we go to our terminal, cd source story and cargo check, that is where our Rust code base is and everything looks good. So it looks clean. Well, actually we can do better. And that is with Cargo Clippy. So the way you install Clippy is with Rust up component add Clippy. I already have it installed. You might already have it installed, but in case that will install it for you. And now we can go Cargo Clippy. And now we get a lot of warnings. So we're not that clean after all. And so we could go through the terminal and fix them, but there's actually a better way. So we're going to close the terminal and we're going to do a command comma to show our VS code settings. And we're going to type cargo check. That is a good way to find it. And then what we see here is we have the rest analyzer, check on save, and the command is set to cargo check by default. Now we can change that by Clippy. Press enter, close the settings, and then everything is still clean. Well, not ready. So just do a command save and boom, we see all of the warnings in line. So what you can do is just press F8 and that will go to the next warning. So in this case, we say avoid using collect when not needed. So usually when it's like that, I press escape to get a little bit of context. And yes, the code doesn't make sense because here we collect and then we do an iteration on the iterator. It doesn't really make sense. So we can remove that, press save. This will complain over here and we can do a command dot and we're going to remove that and press save. And then that's it. And then we fix one. Now, if we go to the next one, if we click here and I do command K I consider removing two. It's kind of not needed. And that's make total sense because our exec create just take type T, which is creatable and our project implement the trait creatable. So there is no into to be done here. It's a static dispatch. So I'm going to click on this one, command dot, remove it, press save. And then so far so good. Now this one, and we can reduce it. That makes sense. So we're going to do command dot. That is much cleaner already going down. So sometimes I don't press F8 when I am on a roll. And then when I press F8 when I'm lost. And then this one, it's the same as above. We can remove the into. Press save. And we have our main.rs cleaned up. So I'm going to press F8. And then on this one is the commands here, just the tabs. It's going to fix the tabs, which is good. Press save. And that is good. And then we're going to press F8 for the next one. This as well. F8. And then in this case, it complains because the variance and with the same name as our enum. So I did that on purpose actually at the beginning because I suffix it with error when it was a transparent, but I'm going to follow the Clippy way. So I'm going to rename it and I'm going to remove the error, press save and door should be clean. That's pretty cool. F8. F8, and then this one, yes, doesn't make sense to repeat that. So that's probably a leftover when it was another viable name. F8. Yes, so this is what I was talking in the video. We don't need the reference here. F8, reference again. Our famous space. So I had quite a bit of double references there. And then that's it. F8, nothing else. And all our code has been cleaned up. So now we can check it with the terminal. We're going to do a cargo, clippy. Everything very clean. And just for fun, we can do our awesome app dev to make sure that we didn't break anything. It's going to compile everything, bundle the client side. And boom, we have our app. Everything is pretty cool. Okay, so that will be a wrap for this coding session. And it's actually, I'm going to commit it, which is 
git commit, clippy clean, and then I'm going to update the version of the awesome app base. Do a commit on this one. Git push origin. Git tag v in our version. Git push origin tags. And then that's it. The next time you do a awesome app new, you will get this version of the app or later, obviously, and everything will be much cleaner. Until next one, happy coding.